Hi, Sherry. How are you? Early bird. So what I'm going to do today is um, make a journal cover, well, the insides, and make that a journal cover. Um, so what I need to do first is paint it. Put some um, gesso on. So while we're waiting for others that may or may not arrive, I will start gessoing this. How are you anyway? Oh. <clears throat> My goodness, get things in a mess. Okay. <sighs> Hey, ZB. Good to see you. Okay, I'm just going to put this on here. Okay, so we're going to be working with craft text today and trying to make a journal cover. So this is going to shrink the more I heat set it and add stuff to it, and I don't know exactly how long it's going to be how big well I do when I don't but I know it's going to shrink so I'll need to um I've cut it bigger than what I need yeah Miss CV did you notice you were tagged in one of my posts about um showing off your work I haven't seen anything from that yet. Hmm. Same with Eileen. Speaking of which, my sidekick won't be here today. She's got um, somewhere she had to be. So I'm on my own. <laughs> yep, hi, lurkers. Okay. Probably a bit excessive with the um, gesso there, but... It's covered. All right. It's more baby wipes too. Yeah, just me. Unless anyone wants to join me, it's me on my own today. So if I miss anything, sorry, I need new glasses, new script. So um, it's really hard to see my laptops over there but it's sort of a fair way away so I'm going to go up close to it all right now clean this up a bit I think I'm going to have it all over me before long I uh, ended up watching that um video of Tim Holtz's about the ink lift love it ordered some but realized it was just the re-inker it arrived um so i've ordered the pad now so i'm gonna it looks good i like it i'm gonna have another play around with alcohol ink soon Ugh, messy 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 um what else has been happening? Yes, CB, I have not. Oh, on Facebook, CB. Well, Da tagged me as Jenny Potter, not Aussie Green. And you're my friend there, so you should. Oh, and I must add you too, Sherry. And you as a friend there because that's where Da tagged me, so it's ongoing there. So, CB, I need you to go and showcase a piece of your art daily for 10 days. All right, I'm going to heat set this because, you know, noise pollution.
này Old stuff is fine by us. That's what I've been doing mostly, old stuff. Like how many years ago was the log cabin? Jeez. And enough about the just me here without Eileen. Yeah, it's going to be a bit strange, isn't it? Now, this is going to be the inside of the cover, okay? So this is going to get attached to the back of some card um, chipboard plus this. This is going to be the front. So I thought, no, he's making that without putting, making something for it. <laughs> yes, Monique, I feel the same. I've got to do more um, um heating so sorry That should do it. Now, this is going to be inside, so it doesn't have to be overly um, pretty. Um, but we need it to be, well, we don't really need it to be the colours of the front, but I like those colours. So we won't make it as dark, but you know me, I can't resist. So I've got to find my plants now. Um, I like... The Prussian blue, but I also have a lighter, a light knit somehow, but I really love that. And I might even, if I can find it, um, I might even put in some, oh, here it is. No, it's not on the desk, is it? No, that's really good. Um, might even put in some magical. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to find my paint. Yeah, Prussian blue hue. Then we'll do some iridescent. I think we need some trolley over. Okay. Um, some iridescent green blue. And we could probably do some gold. Iridescent precious gold. And let's see. What have I got? Magical that I like. Um, yeah, well, let's do some. <laughs> CB. Is Doc here? No. So it's going to be probably too late for her when your daylight savings kicks in. All right, so I don't want too much of the cool Prussian blue, but I do want it to be visible in there. So let's just do a little bit. I think um, you're not much older than me, um, CB. If that, even if you are, I don't know. Little bit of gold. I'll oh, get out of there. I should have shaken it up. Um, yeah, probably put some gesso in it too. Oh, that thing flew everywhere. 
Okay. All right. Brush is in here. Should get a cloth. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow, memories. Goodness me. Been a while since I've seen that year, that age. Okay, I'm going to put a little bit of each in there. Okay. Oh, I didn't put the magicals in, but I will in a minute. Doesn't that look pretty? I can't um, mix it too much because it's going to turn to a deeper hue and I don't want that. Probably want more of that lighter blue. Oh, well, um, Cameron turns 24 this year. Oh. That makes me feel old. And my youngest grandchild, Amelia, turns a teenager this year. A bit of white in that. So pretty. Oh, nice. Won't put so much gold in it, I don't think. I know, right? I think it was, um, I want to, I signed up for YouTube. I think one of my first YouTube videos was in 2009. And it wasn't much longer after that, a year or two, that we started all started chatting and getting together as a um, a community. It's just unbelievable. I mean, two thousand eleven, maybe you stream. <laughs> Sherry, I know, right? Yep. Now I'm contaminating these, but that's all right. I don't want to go over there. That's a bit too dark for my liking, so I'm going to go back over it. Some white. I'm going to go over this again. I'm going to put some magicals in there, I think. And we'll do some stamping and stenciling and that as well. Now, we don't need it this long, so let's measure. Sorry, I've got to measure. This piece is... Five and a half by seven. Okay. So it's five and a half. I think I'll have an inch um, spine. So that's five and a half, five and a half is 11 plus an inch is 12. Okay. So there's 12. So, all right. And we'll just go, yeah, that, that's, that's good there. Um, Sort of darken this little bit here. Okay. All right. Now that's not fully covered and that's okay because we're going to probably do some stamping and some other stuff now. I'm going to do some stamping, I think, first. So I might have to dry this. Okay. Noise pollution again.
Bye. Thank you. Hey, Kat. They are pretty colours, aren't they? But guess what? I'll stuff it up. Okay. Let's do some stamping. Texturising. And what colour am I going to use on this one? Don't even know what this oh it's Tim Holtz components stripes. That one, I like that one. Now you know what? I think I might stamp it with some paint. So I've got my bucket of water here. Let's do it in the blue. A bit of the white and maybe a bit of the gold in there. we can oh, not on me okay so it's the inside so okay press it harder Jim okay let's do a little bit of just this one a bit of white as we don't want it too dark okay This way now. Okay, that's going to go in my bucket of water there. Now, I've done paint, so I might do some inks now. Okay, dry it first. Now, just so you know, you don't have to cover your entire um, outside covers with the craft text. Some just come about here and have enough for the spine. But I don't like that big bulkiness here. So I'm going to do the whole lot this time. Now, stamps. Um, we might use some um, other than, oh, I should, no, we should use black. I wouldn't mind using that in a um, different colour, though. And then this we could use some white, like that. Um, or maybe we could ink that up in some magicals okay let's do that what kind of journal are you making gem collage mixed media or everything um i'd say it's going to be everything i'll have a bit of watercolor paper in there a bit of mixed media paper maybe even some um pattern paper just all a mix of them i think don't know yet but it's not going to be a big journal like thick I don't think because I'm only having an inch spine right this is guten tag teal and let's spritz it I haven't got up to that stage yet, but we won't be making the inside cover today. Well, that was silly putting it right in the middle, wasn't it? Okay, let's just go here. Oh, it's just going to be a sort of a mess, but that's okay. It'll add something to it.
Oh dear, I'm trying to get it so you can see it all. Um, all right. That'll do it. Now, okay, that looks pretty. So we'll need to dry that again. Sorry. Yeah, well, you end up using um, a lot of your different um, product, like your different stuff, like well, your substrates, because, you know, different you want. You don't want to have to do the same thing in the same journal. I just say paints and just say inks and just say, you know. So you could do watercolour painting, do all sorts of things in something like that, collage and all that. So noise pollution. Now, CB, you've got two profiles on Facebook with the same name. So I don't know, maybe I tagged you with the wrong one. So if you could have a look at both, that would be good. You probably can't check one. If you can't see where I've tagged you, then I'll tag you again in a uh, your, your current profile. Okay. Stamping. Let's do um, come on. Yeah. I'll do some kind of fun. So I'll do some maybe of Oh, I should do some gold in that, but I'll do that later. But for now, whoops, got to put that in the water. Um, I'll do some text. Oh, maybe I should do, no, I'll do some text first and then we'll do some stenciling and then I'll do the gold honeycomb on top maybe. These are Carabelle Studios. This is called Edges in My Journal. And so now I'll get some alcohol ink, jet black. I have to re ink that. Okay. Um, you may well have been, but I don't know. It could just be you, CB. I don't know. Just could be the user, just putting it out there. Okay, I don't know where this is going to go, so... on the actual covers so let's just okay it's a little bit of stamping not a lot yet um i did bring out a, a full of I'm going to have to up internet because um, I'm 
that um, vicious circle is um, appearing quite regularly tonight on my stream today. Should be too bad. Okay. It's only me home. But I am down the stairs and through a couple of walls, so that does make a difference. Okay, a little bit more. Oh, right, so you don't go on Facebook much. You don't see your notifications, CB. You're right. All right, that'll do for that. We kind of want to go to our foot and maybe we do some stenciling. Oh, what sort of stencil do I want? I don't want anything big. Let's bring the tinny ones down. They're my go to, really. I know, I know, I'm the same sometimes. And that's, yeah, it's hard having two. Oh, the dot fade. Mm, let's see. What's on the front? That's like dream and old fashioned stuff. So. Hmm. You do some numbers, but not so out there, I think. Just, um, oh, maybe some text. Well, we could do both. So I might use some paints with those. Um, so I'll put this one down first, I think, and I might use just, hmm, what have I got here? I mix. No, I'm not going to. I'm going to use the gold later. So, yeah, no, we need a bit more. Let's get. Let's introduce in the. Oh, forgot I brought the card around. Um, let's try. Hmm. I don't want. Too much of a contrast with it, that's all. Okay. Maybe, oh, why don't we use deep turquoise? That might be all right. Yeah, okay, we'll get a sponge for that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, and then we'll come up here. and Jen get it straight. Okay. And probably down here should do. And all right, that'll do. That'll do. All right, that one can go in. A bucket of water. Now, what colour and do these? I might do a white tinged with. The turquoise, why not? Let's see how that pans out. Sort of motley. So I'm going to just try and they're a bit big, maybe. Hmm.
That's not bad, actually. And maybe if we do one more here. Actually, that worked much better. So let's just go there. Yeah. Okay, that's going in there now. So is that sponge? Okay. That looks very pretty, even if I do say so myself. <laughs> Excuse me. Now I'm going to go in with the, um, after I heat set, I'm going to go in with the gold. Hi, Reby. Good to see you. Yeah, Monique, I've got a, um, a booster. I just haven't set it up for the internet. Jarek, Christie's husband, started it, but then they got drinking and, and forgot all about it. So I've got to try and finish it up. Nice pollution. And what I wanted for that was the motliness, and you can actually see that in those numbers there. I like that. No more noise pollution. Now, I need another plate and I'm going to put just some gold in there and we're going to go over with the um, honeycomb, I think, in various places. Oh, come on. Need some more of this. Oh, that was a plop. Yeah, I don't need too much. Oh, my goodness me. Now, that's all messy, so... Okay, spread it out. Right, let's see if we can't get any um, honeycomb on this. Any gold on the honeycomb, I mean. Okay, I need to press a bit more, a bit harder. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, baby. Okay, a bit up there. A bit down there. Oh, that looks so nice. Now, that was sort of hit and miss there. So, loving it. Yeah, let's put a bit more over here. This in, out on this one. Oh, nice. Okay. It's in the water. It's looking good. Nice pollution. Texture numbers, yep. And the honeycomb looks like it's melting, some honey melting off the um, comb. Lots of texture there. Hi, 
live going in. Good to see you. Doesn't it look yummy? Even if I do say so myself, I jag it every now and again. Yeah, there's some clumps in that of, of the um, gold on there, but that's all right. Now I'm going to come in with white. Now I really want it to be white, white. So I should do a white paint or I should just fleck it, you know, fleck it. Yeah, I think I will. I think I'll just get my fan brush and flick it. If I can find where it is, and I thought I brought it in earlier when I bought the wall. Yeah, I did. No, I didn't. Okay, I might just need to use a normal brush. Probably works just as I got it. Panic's over. Hi, Amber. Good to see all you guys. Oh. Now I just want the white. I just need to um, put it on here. It's a little bit too much. I was going to use white paint, wasn't I? A bit overboard with it. That's all right. It's very nice. All right. It's done. And now I have to cut it to size and adhere it. <sighs> so while that's drying, I'll get the, um, I'll have to cut a piece of chipboard for the back cover so i think i should wipe this off before i do anything else mm -hmm. hi kelly all right Let's, um, where am I going to put this? Got everything everywhere. I haven't cleaned up. I've been making Mandy's um, trays for her um, Prisma colour pencils. And that's in the row. Okay, I'll quickly show you them. I have, I found some um, Wizard of Oz papers. Uh, that's one tray. I've got to put felt on the back yet. That's a shoes. And that's just the wizard will fix everything. And these have had three coats of varnish on them. So just got to put the felt on and the feet and hopefully the corners, I mean. Hopefully they'll fit because it's a bit tight at the moment. Oh, I've got some chipboard here. A bit thicker. Um, all right, I'll just go and cut this and then we can start painting it. All right, I'm going to put this over here. So I hope it doesn't do anything. Oh, that tray out of the way. What did I say it was? Seven by five and a half is, I think. Seven by five and a half. Five and a half by seven. Oh, what a memory. 
add the chocolate. All right, seven by five and a half. Okay, let's put that not quite six. Seven by five and a half. Now, I'm gonna have to paint the back of this. So, first up, we're going to need some gesso because remember the craft text was going on the inside. Look at chat. Yeah, I think she will like them. Squid's going down to get his tax done and, and the skin cancer checkup. So, um, no, CB, I'm not going to use the chipboard for the spine. The craft text is going to do that job. Um, yeah, so he's going to take it down to us. So that's why I have to finish it. He's going down there early Saturday morning. All right, Gesso. Don't interrupt me, CB. I don't know where I'm at. <laughs> no, go right ahead. So I don't know how many pencils she's going to get in there. I haven't even tested that. I have tested that they um they fit, but how many layers? I think she'll only get one, maybe two. Now the back cover for me, I like to normally have it fairly flat, so it won't be texturized. So. We'll just incorporate the colours that were on the front and on the inside cover for this, I think. Okay. Lots of noise pollution today, people. Again. do a little bit darker because that's a bit dark so maybe I do a black around the edge I could then probably put some um, mega flakes on it we'll see okay hold on um, Mars black okay you think I'd have all these colour coded, wouldn't you, given who I am? Well, I don't. Just throw them in there. Right, Mars Black. Oh, we haven't even made this one. That's. No. I've got another one somewhere, but do you think I'd want to find it? No. It takes me forever. Oh, my goodness. Oh, maybe I should have. This is ridiculous how they give you so much to grab onto, don't they? Oh. oh, I think this is what you do. I'm supposed to do that. There we go. Okay, there's got a bit of gold in that still, but that's okay. Do some black, I won't do too much. Okay, I'll use the same brush that I use for the matte medium for my paints. It doesn't matter. Now, I also want to do the edges of this because you never know what's gonna show. Oh, 
I'll go over this with some lighter colours, but just so I've got a full coverage of the black and no white is showing, that should work. So yeah, um, this I'm going to do a pamphlet stitch on the um, inside pages. I'm going to try and use um, the glue that bookbinders use. I haven't got it yet, but um, to actually attach it to the craft text spine and see how I go with that. And if that doesn't work too good, I'll have to make another one and um, sew it into or sew it with the um, pages. So the cover, the spine in with the pages. What do you do, CB? Well, what does everyone else do when they make covers? What do you use for your spine? So I'm going to try and curve this in the um, in the spine area. Curve the craft text. Put a few um, scores in it. See how I go. Okay. Right, let's do this for a second. If I clean up a bit, I'll have a look at chat. Um, hard spine, poke holes and bind. Yeah, yeah, I think um, I've done that and I like the rounded spine. I prefer it, especially for like, journals like this like the cover you know i want it to sort of be a um soft curvy spine it may not work out i may have to go back to the original like you know just sew it in i don't know we'll see um okay noise pollution again This is where the craft text is going to be um, covering. And this is going to be the back cover. Okay. It will be, um, Kelly, I'm going to have, I'm going to stick this to this. Have that as the spine now. Actually, I'm going to do that over here. And that is the spine, and this is going to go on the back, and so we'll have a curved spine. And then I'll make some journal inserts, lots of pages for it. Okay. Hi, Lucy. All right. So now, I wonder if I can maybe walk, oh, wrong side. Water this down. Where'd it go? Mix it up. Well, not mix, mix it up, but you know, add bits and pieces of it. And there's still some black in that. So, white, gold. And we can go over the top of it. Oh, stuff it. Okay. That was a bit wet, so there's one layer. Okay, let's get some more dry layers. Okay, I contaminate, I don't care. That will get some PBO, iridescent blue green. We'll get some Prussian blue hue. And a little bit of white. 
Okay. Fancy art journal. Well, we'll see. We'll see. We've got it yet to be made. Nice solution. Now, why don't we just use some magicals first thing and we won't know what sort of mess we're going to get after it because it'll be reactivated I think with the paint so okay let's see how we go with this and while it's wet we'll get some runs in it And then I'm going to go in with my dark. Well, I'll just dip it into each of them. Let's see how we go. It's just going to have a um, stripey effect. I'm going in later and add some texture. But for now, that looks quite pretty. Noise. Now, see how there's a distinct black bit? I want to get rid of that. So I'm going to use some Prussian blue only and go over that so I've got a bit more um, blendable darkness in the background. So it's not so defined. I like that. Okay, that looks quite effective. Again, noise pollution. That looks absolutely beautiful. It's a shame I'm going to cover that center up. <laughs> but look at that. How pretty is that? All right. Now, we've got to do some texturizing. So, let's try the um, iridescent blue green. Thanks, Diane. Thanks, Kelly. Thanks, um, everyone. Okay, so what I want to do with this, I want to scrape that. Hold on. All right, I'll just do it here. Get some of that. And scrape it here. Okay. Dip that into it. Go the right way and the wrong way, probably, but who can tell? Um, let's go here. Here and maybe here. That's parody. Oh, I've got to go and wipe the water. 
Um, now, I also want, what else would we like in there? <coughs> Do I want, yeah, I think I want some white. That can be flex later. I'm not going to put the gold in. So I think we're going to do the. This is what I'd like to do. And I'd, yeah, your um, help on the matter might be good. Hold on. What do I, what colour do I want to do? They might bring in another. Oh, we've got the flakes yet. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm thinking out loud on my water bottle. I'm going to bring in the Prussian blue because I'm going to lighten it soon. Okay, so what do I want? I might give the um, grid ledger paper, whatever it is. I might do that. <coughs> I might mix these two up. So So pretty. Okay. Oh, yeah. Not too much, Jim. Not too much. That's what else there. Oops, upside down. Hold on. There's a pretty blue colour water happening down there. All right. <coughs> what else have I got in here? Oh, a bit of copper might be nice. Or bronze. Hold on. Um, what have I got here? This is... Iridescent copper. Now we don't want to do too much of that. So maybe I don't know. Because what up? I'll show you what I want to use. I want to do a um cameo. So maybe. I do the gold there. Maybe, I don't know, the, the blue in there and then um, a gold cameo or I don't know, what do you reckon? Um, we need to do a few more, a bit more stamping, I think, texturize it. So, a bit of ink, I reckon we need. I wonder if I could use a white ink. Which I'll try. I have frost white, which is a Pigment archive or white by colour box. Let's try that one. Now I'm gonna to have to have this really dry before I do this. So noise pollution. All right, here we go. This is, what's this from? It's a Kaiser Craft one from Check In Set. So it goes 
that way. Let's get that straight there. And then we are looking at it. Okay. All right. Here we go. Let's see how this one's going to work. Okay. It's pretty juicy. So fingers crossed. I've probably made a mess of it over stamping there. Um, this is going to go. It doesn't really matter. Oh, yeah. Upside down. So this is the top. <laughs> you right. Okay. <laughs> Thanks, Doc. I put this. How beautiful is that? That's made it really actually. There we go. That's going in the bottle of water, jar of bucket of water. Okay. Now we need a spray on here, I think. I do there. <clears throat> yeah, it looks actually nice. Yeah, it brings everything out, I reckon, that white. So um, maybe I use a stencil. Now, didn't I get two out earlier? Did I just use the one? I did get two out. Did I use the both? I can't see it here anyway. Must have. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. All right. Where are you, Timmy? Not here. Okay. Okay. Now, this is not going to be really noticeable. You have to really look, I'd say. Um, some stripes would look good in it. And I think, oh, yeah, no, I don't know. Yeah, maybe some stripes. Some flourishes, but you won't really see that. Not with the um not with a spray. So oh all right, let's no we're not. We're gonna do the stripes. Not that one. This one. Okay. And then I'm going to use, oh, let's dry this. Hold on, noise pollution. How's that for a white ink pen, eh? If you can get it, colour box, frost white. Very good. All right, what spray am I going to use? <clears throat> Just the pearls. Um, hmm. I could use a bit. No, it's just about doing that one. All right, no, that's just about on too. Gee, I love my blues. I'm going to have to restock on my blue sprays. What's this one? Asia Sea Asters. Let's see if this is going to work. I'm going to do it really slowly and sparingly. Ah, oh, thanks, Lucy. Okay. Okay, first. Oh, let's please pray to the gods that this works. Of course, it's not going to work, is it? God, no. You son of a gun. All right. I'm going to use Sassy Sapphire. Oh, 
I think I'll bring oh maybe not because it's fairly full. Hold on. Oh it works. Ha 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 ha. Okay. Let's go on in the bucket of water. Now let's see how this turns out once we dry it. Noise pollution again. Now, just because I can, and because it's what we've used um, recently in the Use It Up, I'm going to get out the, um, what do you call them? Mega Flakes. I'm going to stencil with that one. Oh, my goodness, I've got to get some more baby wipes. I'm going to find where I put them because that's the last one. Oh, scrub, scrub, Jen. Okay, that'll do. If I get my arm in, it won't matter so much now. Okay, so I'm going to go and grab the Mega Flakes. I know, right? Are oh, they really stuck? You've got to have a spare bottle laying around to be able to use it, pour some in and spray it, I think. What am I? Oh, Mega Flakes. Okay, and I'll use I'll use the Manchester Tart. And okay, I've got the bottle of got the scrubby, and I need a bit of sponge. So I'm gonna have to cut some of it. I wonder if I could just use. Hang on, I'm talking myself over here. Um. Oh, that's good. Here's a sponge and I'm going to put it through a stencil. Now, what stencil? I think I'm going to use the dot fade. Um, I know, right, Kelly? I'm just so lazy. Um, okay, so cut a bit of the, now, okay, let's get the stencil out, hold on. Um, do I want the dot fade or do I want the tiled, oops, oh, that was in another one, okay. Dot fade or speckles might be good. Yeah, speckles we're going to use, okay. Still a bit sticky, so I'm just going to heat set that again. All right, so just going to cut a bit of this terrible looking derpy sponge. And then I've got this. This is the um, the flowing one. Hang on, has it opened? So it's got nothing there. Okay. Okay. So that's opened up. I spray that. I can never do this. Please tell me what I'm doing wrong. Do I have to take that off and cut the tip and then squirt? I can never tell. Help me, people. Hi, Beth. 
these ones really get to me. I might have to bring out the There we go. We do have to cut that. Just the tiniest little bit, I think. So it come is that's not coming through. Is there something caught? Goodness me. No, that's open. Oh duh. Idiot, Jen. Stinking idiot. Oh. I knew there had to be something there. Okay, now my fingers are all sticky. Where's my baby wipes when I need them? Okay, where did the lid go? I'm very much lid challenged. Where did it go? Oh, here. Okay. There we go. Now unscrew, pour it in. Okay, that's poured in, and now I'm going to scrape it along now. Wipe that off. Oh, I need a new spatula. What knife? We could do with a little bit more. <clears throat> Wasn't that long ago that I played with these? Surely. Not that rusty. Okay. Let's sit for a minute. Now, this is what I want on here. I think I want it. Sort of coming down there like that. So this is going to sort of twist it a little bit. Just like that and that. Okay, let's see how that works. Ah, now I need to put that in more on the bottom. Okay, now we want the mega flakes, but my hands, I need to really quickly wash them so they're not so sticky. You get it right, I should have a scrubby in here. Disgusting. No, I don't think you have to do it. Oh, okay. Now, Mega Flakes. <laughs> I know, I'm a struggle. All right. Okay. Get off. Stop breathing, Jen. Okay. Good enough for that side. Let's go over here. Hey. 
All right. Let's say that's got it all. Probably hasn't, but now I'm not even going to save that because this is so full as it is. I can sweep it up, scoop it up and use it somewhere else. Okay, scrubby. Let's just pat it down first properly. I should, okay, sorry. I should have a bit of paper underneath here. Mm. All right. Not everything was dry, particularly the um, um, white stamping. So I like it. I like it. Hold on. I'll show you in a minute. Once I try and clean up this mess, I'll try and capture all these. Let's fold her up. Oh, breathing it all in. All right, hold on. What a waste. You didn't see that. Okay. All right. Let's see what it's done to it now. Probably stuffed the top of the section up. Might have been a bit too much there, but you can still see all the layers in it. So I like that. So bottom. Not too bad. Okay, so now I'm going to do this cameo. I know, right, Diane. <laughs> I will be spending the month cleaning this up. They do look blue and messy, yeah. Just, yeah, I like it. Okay, and that stamping because of the spray has turned blue instead of white but we still have some white in there i'll probably do some white flakes yet probably should do that now before i do this so i'm gonna have that there and maybe that that one there maybe so, yeah, I think I'm just going to do you know what I'm going to no, I can't do that. It's not a stencil. Okay. Should I go that way? Or that way? Okay. I'm going to rub some um, yeah, I'm going to do the copper, iridescent copper for that. Rub it over the stamp. Well, I don't want to get any in the middle. Oh, that's all right. We'll be fine. Just want to try and do it quick enough so that it doesn't dry up. Maybe thick enough, but it shouldn't be too thick because it'll smudge as well. So now maybe I should. No, I can't. I've got to actually stamp it rather than adding a um, dimensional. Um, okay, it's going down the bottom. No, it's going up. No, it's going down the bottom. Oh, 
um, because I don't want anything dimensional on the back. As it is, I don't know how I'm going to work in the journal. Maybe I'll do the journal first and then insert it. Okay, let's do this. Eh, it'll do. In the water with you. Not bad, and I think I might... Um, Put a bit of copper around the edge to tie that colour in. What do you reckon? Too bad, I'm doing it anyway. And then we'll do the um, cameo. Probably do a black, but the gold I think should work just as good. If not, I can stamp over it, recolor it. Or I could have embossed that, but now nah, it's too much glue and crap on there already. So there, that's that. Oh. Oops, guess what? I forgot to put this in. I'm sure I need to put that back in there to keep it. Um... I don't know. But I'm going to. Goodness me. Because God knows when I'm going to use it again. Okay. Now, that's a bit texturized, um, so I need to dry that before I add the gold to, um, cameo. And maybe I just want, no, oh, male. I don't like her. Maybe I want this one. Yeah, I'm going to do that one. So I'll need to dry that first. Noise pollution again. It's dry enough so I can stamp this. So it's really hard to see. Gold, where for art there? Right here. Okay, that should be enough. Oh, silly girl making a mess. Oopsies, trying to rush. Did I get the um, craft tax on here? Okay, gold. All right, here goes nothing. Oh. Didn't work. That's all right. Didn't work. That's all right. I can... Um, I can't. What I can do is probably stamp it on cardstock and cut it out and put it on there. And I think I will do that. Just not today because I've got to do the cover yet. All right, so she didn't turn out. Oh, 
but that's okay. All that colour looks good. All right, now I need to get the craft text back before I can cover it all. And this needs to be dry. So I wonder, I mean, all I'm going to do is glue it on. So maybe I should um, leave it and let it really dry and, and we could probably finish that up next week. We might add it next week. What do you reckon, guys? Because it's now 12.30. By the time this fully dries enough so that I can use well it's only well it really is only texture on the back I still probably could use it and try it but I want to clamp it as well and I don't want to damage it when I'm clamping it um, I'll probably um, show you how I do it though next I'll probably do it next week we could start off finishing this off next week what do you reckon Night cat. What do you reckon? Yeah, I could wipe it off, but that's okay. What I can do is cut a um, bit of cardstock, a coloured cardstock, even. I can stamp that image onto it and um, cut it out, and then just stick it on, and that's fine. And then I might give it a coat of. Um, Matte medium or varnish. Yeah, I don't really want to damage it. So I think what sounds? Let me talk. It sounds like a plant. Good. Sounds like a plant. I think I should leave it and let it completely dry, along with oh, and I've put everything on top of this. So we're gonna. I'll cut this down to size. And that's going to go on there, well, on that way, and, and then the front one, which is where the Gorn, Gornskis are here. There, okay. So more green on that one than that one. That's okay. That's fine. All right, guys, thank you so much. It's getting a bit late. Um, so I'll leave it there and we'll come back and we'll finish that off and attach it all together. And then I I, hope, I might even make the um, insert for it and we can finish it off next week, um, sewing in and all that. So maybe we could do that. All right. True, Lucy, true. Mm-hmm. All right, we could leave it as is too. That's fine by me. Less is more. All right, guys, thanks so much for watching and being here with me and spending time. And we shall see you next week, hopefully, God willing. Okay, thanks, guys. Bye. If I can find my mouse, I can turn off broadcast.